a good morning YouTube uh, right now I got a video of a angry 304 post wall um, it looks like she's gonna be complaining about what men have to say about today's modern woman I haven't watched any of this one so you're gonna get my uh, raw uncut reaction uh, so yeah let's get into this I was just waiting patiently because obviously I'm listening to the guys behind me. There's a lot of things I think you can see from my face that are actually winding me up. And I thought, am I going to take a break here or just be polite and sit quietly? Because you talk. All right. So right off the right off the top, she's upset and she's going to be like, she's going to definitely uh, say some dumb stuff. Uh, so once uh, you catch a 304 in their feelings, anything goes. And uh, so expect some just craziness out of this one. What about uh, women? I think the word you used was combat combative. Mm -hmm. Combative. Yeah. Like there were yeah. It, that was I was sitting here and that was w winding me up constantly. It, the way that you and others were talking about older women or you know for you vice versa and older men, and I was just getting more and more angry. And I thought, well, just sit quietly. And uh, more and more angry, so she got triggered off of something she heard, feelings got hurt, and let's go. Let's see what we've all got to say, and we all have personal opinions, but it doesn't mean that just because you're with an older woman that um, they are taking advantage of you and you're just having fun. How about consider that somebody a little bit older than you might actually be interested in you, it's not always for fun. I mean, you can ask that. In her case, you are definitely post wall. So she, as you can see, she smacked that shit real hard. And she wants young mans to believe that a woman in her position really, truly cares about the young dude she's with. It had nothing to do with that, the fact that, you know, men her age don't want her because clearly, and that young guys for the most part, if they have any sense, aren't trying to wife this 304 post wall. They're just trying to, you know, get in, get out for the most part. To me personally, if I'm in getting involved with someone, I'm not interested in fun. You know, I've got personal views, self-respect. I don't need to go around dropping my pants like all these other girls. I don't need to do all that. So it doesn't matter who I date. I'm interested in something proper. I think the word is proper. Something proper and not. So proper would have been about 20 years ago when you would have been a submissive pre-304 and locked down a man of your age or slightly older than you and then without being combative, just be a true submissive woman there to support her man, there to build a home, take care of children, raise children, um, feed the family uh, spiritually. Uh, these are the things that she's clearly not interested in because if that was the case, she wouldn't be here on Pearl's, uh, Pearl Tings. She would actually be more of an Auntie Jenny uh, spitting fire in the booth. Not to play around. So obviously I'm not going to date you, Chris. Sorry. Yeah, I just I think that's just yeah. how guys then throws an insult in at the end to the young man's in the back about how uh because of what he said about females prior, uh she wouldn't date him. I don't think any of those dudes back there would cap themselves into believing that they wanna be with a three or four in her condition. Guys view it like yeah and, and I don't I don't mean the offense personally. I just think yeah. when guys Typically, if they date girls that are a significantly older than them, like yeah. long-term guys look at family, and they prefer to have kids of their own. And I just think it, over a certain age, you're kind of out of the equation. No, no. I and uh, Pearl hits it right on the head, the nail on the head right there. Um, mans back in the day have have I've had experiences, and definitely the cougars will try to uh, tempt you with money. Uh, with cars they'll they'll say anything but once you bring up stuff like yo what about kids 
and they recognize that your your mind is isn't trapped in the whole ideology of of uh flash in the pan quick uh money and 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 partying with them they recognize that the time frame in which they have with you is very short and that you the young man that is still inherently looking for uh, a future with a woman that's going to produce children for you healthy uh beautiful children they start to get a little skittish i totally understand that and um you also have to take into account that a lot of a lot of men and women already have children when you meet them and if you have a good that is that is true in some cases um but men out there uh recognize that your best bet is to start a, a household fresh from the ground up uh you gotta you gotta build on the rocks not on the sand make sure that foundation is concrete make sure that foundation is made out of boulders something that can't just be shifted around based on emotion good heart and you're a good person um you will actually embrace that and i will be really open about that and i will say that to anyone i meet if i meet a man now i don't care how old you are you know you could be a single dad whether you're 25 45 and bringing these kids up on your own i'm going to embrace that of course you're going to embrace that you have no other choice look at you your your prime years are 20 probably 30 years behind you there's nothing that a young man is going to want out of you unless you're bankrolling you know parties and trips and uh shops and and doing all that you know restaurant stuff no real dude is going to sit down and be like, hey, you know what? I'm going to take this dried up 304 over a brand new 20, 21, 22, 23 year old. Why Why would we do that? It absolutely makes no sense. Uh, if I got to touch on that, like, yeah, like that's I, I think it's very like, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's very easy for like a woman to say that. But I just feel like me, I, I, I'm losing a lot if I'm dating an older woman who already has kids. Like, that's baggage. I and exactly like I said, there's nothing in it for a young man to get with a aged 304 that has established children. There's nothing in it for him. So she's 40 plus years old, probably has, uh, what, a 20 year old or something around those ages. And if your man is in his 20s, and he's probably better off with your children. If you have daughters, he's better off with them than he is with you. But coming from the mindset of a post-wall 304, even your daughters, if you have them, are going to have a mindset of the modern woman today, which is just going to lead to, um, it's definitely going to lead to trouble in the home, uh, she's going to be on the, I need to be free. I need to cut on road and, and be with my friends and do all these things. And the eventuality is that that relationship will probably destined to fail. I do not want to carry. It's not baggage. That's the word that I didn't like you using. It's, it's not baggage. You're using really. And that's another one of these things. They never like the words that uh, people choose. I can use any words that I want. But it is literal baggage. Uh, you're coming in uh, 304 post wall. You have uh, a husband or so excuse me, you, you probably have uh, you've divorced once, maybe twice, or you've divorced one time and have uh, a next man's on the side right now. And you don't think that your previous life, which is an eternity ago compared to a young man coming up, isn't going to have any effect on your current situation. Give me a break, man. No, thank you. you that's, 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 that's how men view it. And it's not, it's not fun. It's not nice, but it's just true. That's how men, men, not all men. Not men, all men. Men, oh. men could have baggage, too. I oh, it sounds like there's a simp, uh, a simp out there uh, talking about not all men. Um, simpler. I would, I would not call anything you have baggage. So I'm talking to the guys behind me. So say um, you're, you're 20. Say if right now... As a 20-year-old, you'd already got two or three kids. It's just how it is. I 
if you're 20 and you have two or three kids and you're not married, you done fucked up and you're in for a world of problems for the next, what, 18 to 20 years, or at least when these youths finish college, if they decide to go, you, you fucked your life up enough. So don't take no advice from this musty 304. She's definitely only going to prop the modern woman ideal up to sink ships. They want to get young men's early so their lives are destroyed and they could live off of you when their kids aren't there to take care of them when they're old. They will still be milking you for the money. I would not, even though you're young and you've had kids at an early age, I would not call that baggage. Why would you call kids and life experiences baggage? Let me tell you what. Okay, I'll tell you why. Everybody deserves a clean slate, uh, men and women alike. So in this case, an older woman, of course, you've already, you've already lost it all. You're definitely going to want to have someone that is uh, predisposition to be sympathetic or empathetic or whatever those pathetic words are to your cause. You want um, a young man that's probably been raised by a single mom, has a bag of aunties, and they all are on this toxic feminist mindset. So she's literally painting the picture of a failed union. That's that's literally what she wants for you. Uh, for her, she gets all the benefit because she could be like, hey, hey, girls, I got this young cat. He's he's banging in the bed and all of these great things. But for him, he's not realizing it at the, at the time that he's getting the short end of it all. It's, ro that's it's, a, it's wrong. That's a, that's a woman's point of view. Yeah. Like, no, more I, typically, I because wait, that. wait, wait, more, wait, 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 more typically, because because it fulfills their mating strategy. Because in history, like yeah. if a guy could impregnate multiple people, it showed he could take care of them. Where men wanted to ensure paternity and pass on resources to the kids that are there. So like, yeah. I'm not saying every single person and every single guy, but it, it's just how in general they view it. Yeah, I, I, I think. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, I think they're throwing around the word baggage. She needs to be like, yeah. well, how, how? Simple alert. Simple alert. We got a busted down Eminem talking about we're throwing around the word baggage. He's definitely, I don't know him, obviously, but from the sounds of it, he doesn't have a strong male figure anywhere in his life. Okay, not even in his peripherals. He's definitely championing the... 304 post wall baggage mindset it it literally is baggage you have to deal with her you have to deal with her baby daddy or daddies and then the children who will grow up to not they don't recognize you as their father no matter what you do for them they will definitely not be in your corner if shit goes down between you and their musty 304 mom is like somebody's past experiences and their children is like had from those past experiences how is that baggage like because now if, I have you're to carry dating, if you're dating older women you there's the probability that they have a past marriage and they have past children so if you don't older and younger it doesn't doesn't really make a difference in today's society you got yeah you got babies coming up uh, off of these young 304s definitely old 304s if you don't want to deal with that baggage then don't date them and do you know what's crazy? Yeah, but, but he's saying he doesn't because that's baggage to him. And, and I, I think he should be mm. like allowed to say that. Yeah, but, uh, yeah he can exactly. say that. And remember, men have baggage too. Let me tell you the baggage wait, that men carry. Wait, Denala, you always, like, you, wait, it's you true. Always yeah, Denala always says this dumb women. shit. Oh, but, oh, but men do it too. Why? Oh, but. We have to be fair because the man, the older they we get, know. there's two things that we happen. We talk Either about, Denala, we talk about men's baggage all the time. Which baggage is it that men have? Men have baggage, yes. We lay our seeds sometimes wayward seed and it's not good no, that's not baggage. yeah that's that's a judgment the baggage that men carry if the older they get as well means they either been in cells for longer or they've fucked around for longer so those two wow either you're going i can't to stand this bird cannot trust any she's absolutely the worst or you're going to be very the blonde in the middle, the middle she's like, yo, I, she has a look on her face like, I don't really agree. Baggage. That's why you'd rather be with somebody that's somewhat on yep. your level because it's easier for both of you to carry the same. I agree with you. Like, men, what? Uh, 
Th- yeah, there are m- you men agree with who, me? Yeah, me- some men have baggage, some <laughs> women have baggage. Yeah, we know this. Men and wi- like, like men and women don't look at children the same, and you no. can't change reality. No. It just is what it is. In the manosphere, like, like um, I- I've heard guys the say most they part, date more girls after they have kids. I've never heard a single mother 100%, say her, her dating 100%. options got better after a child. I've never 100%. heard that. <laughs> like I heard, I've heard guys say they brought their kid to the park because they know the girls would like, you know, ah. Typically speaking, men men don't want to have to. Spread their resources to kids that are not there. And, and it's also like they, they have 100%. a lot of risk that comes with that. Like they have to invest in a kid that's not theirs. And I, I don't know. You don't get anything back from it. You know, how old the kids it, dep- are, it all depends. But for the most part, you don't get anything back. They have no legal rights to that child at the end of it. They've, yeah. got, they've got options. If they want to be involved in the child's life, obviously it's a man's choice. Mm-hmm. If they want to be that involved and have rights, they they can legally adopt and give their name to that child. Or what? woman's partner but that still doesn't make it your yeah, child yeah, and it doesn't make it that the kid's gonna more women would do respect that, that would you help. but, but I, I don't think that's typical with a lot of single mothers that's I'm not that's not what i've gathered because because you asked them like can can the dad discipline the kid as as his own so if you disagree with like he spanks your kid you disagree with it would you let him do it and a lot of single mothers say no to that question they say no so 100 single mothers and single dads um, right, because no. the court system doesn't. The government gives you the babies, man. Just and stop and the, the cap, man. Ninety percent of the time, and um, there's a lot of guys that. Yo, I I can't stand how they just ignore that, for real, yo. Like, the women just believe that they're righteous. They don't see that the system is stacked against men, and somehow, if this is a patriarchy. Men must have dropped the ball somewhere because we we're letting women trump us in court. If the patriarchy was that savage, women would still be barefoot and breeding. Like that's that's what it would be. You wouldn't be working. You wouldn't be doing all these things. Feminism, coupled with the Fed, has women blindly thinking that somehow they did this on their own. The government is the daddy in the single parent home, i.e. single 304 mother home. They get screwed in court and don't get access but to the children. But dads also leave kids a lot more, I think. Um, yeah. can, can I just interject on that one? Um, obviously, there's statistics on that, but there's also there's a big community of men that don't have access to their children. And they're not Huge. Parents. 100%. Uh, and it's yeah. the thing where you hear this a lot, you hear this a lot, but it's like, there are there are stories of children that were led to believe by their mothers that their father left them and there's somehow at the blue i have a personal friend of mine for example who was able to regain contact with his father after like 25 years or something or 10 or 15 years so minus his his childhood via my linkedin and then found out that it was actually his mother that pushed him away that he was indoctrinated with the belief that he was abandoned by his father so it's just like Whenever I hear these these kind of things, I'm not necessarily saying that not not all men are amazing fathers. This guy hits a pretty good point right there that uh, in most cases, the moms have 100% access to the children and their development. So for the most part, they could spin any story, any capping story, and the kids, they don't know up from down. Like, they why are they not going to believe their caregiver? Why are they not going to believe their mother? Uh, oh, your daddy's this, your daddy's that. It happens far too often. But there's a lot of men out here that don't have a voice and all the focus is on the women's side of things, particularly sing- particularly single fathers because I have personal experience of co-parenting, right? And I'm not, 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 I try not to like make too much of a comparison between men and women, but from personal experience, women have many advantages that single fathers would dream of having. Of course. Something as basic as picking up your child from nursery and having to be interrogated because you're seen as a threat because you're around little children every single day for the next 15, 13 years. All these kind of things all add up. So I'm just saying that there's, there's more to it than that than just like... Yeah, that, you know? and I agree with you to an extent because um, incarceration, like mass incarceration in America is mainly men. Yeah. So a lot more women are forced to be single mothers. Yeah, so I agree with you, yeah. I'm just saying from society, most men in the room, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you go 
into a place that has lots of little children? What do you do? Like, what's your first response? Well, I'm distancing myself as much yeah. as possible. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine being that, child, that man with a child? It's, it's like it's a, it's a really really challenging dynamic. And I, got, and I, 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 I got a story. So my kids take the bus to school, and of course, um, I, because of my work schedule. I don't often get to pick the, uh, the girls up from the stop or whatever. So I get there, and the bus driver, female, um, she's like, who are you? It's not, she doesn't greet me with a, hey, good afternoon, how may I help you? It's straight, who are you? And I'm like, who am I? Who are you? I'm like, I'm obviously here to pick up my kids. Your kids is what she responds. It's like, what, do you think? I guess this has maybe happened, but for the most part, really, man's just walk up to a bus and be like, I'm here to get my kids and then just pick up random kids off the bus stop. It, it doesn't happen, but that's for real what men go through. We're questioned regardless of the, the, my, my daughters are standing right there. They're ready to get off the bus. They're like, hey, daddy. And I'm getting questioned by the female bus driver. That shit was mad annoying portrayed as like predators way out more often that it would be kind of scary because you don't want to be seen like that like you like you want to be like loving but you also feel restricted by how society views you so yeah and and i'd like to say too in the u <coughs> in the u.s of their the women are incentivized to take away the kids from the dad yeah. because they're paid more um if the, if the dad doesn't see the kids they're given more money from child support mm -hmm. yeah so they're literally paid to take away the kids yeah. from the dad um well, I agree with that. I just have to say, ladies, if you're doing that, that's terrible. Because having a man that is willing to be in your... Here we go. Like Denala pretending like women don't do that. If you're, if you're flipping, you're flipping. Like, where do you think these stories come I from, bro? Like, and I want to women. I of course you want to protect the liars and the cappers. Of course. Because it only makes you feel better that you're doing something. Get out of here. You're whack. Or power or for financial gain. Whack. Or whatever it is. You're going to hell for that. Because it's your child's... All right, so that's the end of that one right there. Um, what do you guys think? Are women the pillars of truth, or are they capping as much as possible? I'm going with capping. Uh, that panel, the blondie had a point that was contrary to the rest of the three or fours on the couch, and she held her tongue. She tried to get a word in, and she realized that it's probably best to keep my mouth shut, let the man take the heat. Um, but for real... What we need to uh, what we need to do here is just see things for what they truly are. Uh, the old three or four on the end, she's definitely uh, soured by previous relationships she's had, and uh, that's why she's on here for her her perspective, and it's totally appreciated. It's great to get a window into the the sour mind that these uh, modern women have, and. On that note, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Uh, if you could do me a huge favor, uh, hit the like button. The like button, or sorry, the likes are what really gets the videos uh, spread throughout YouTube more than anything. Uh, it helps the algorithm out. It helps me out. And it's free, so just hit that like button. Subscribe if you feel that the content was uh, good and my, my uh, opinions and reactions are on point. And then let me know down in the comment section what I could do better. Uh, if you liked it, let me know, whatever it is. And uh, this is Bear Talks. I'm out.